I hope you're having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Well, uh, today I want to talk about one little lifestyle change that we can make. Now, whether, whether someone's going through chemotherapy, whether someone's going through radiation, whether someone's about to go in for surgery, whether it's a normal allopathic drug or any treatment that you're taking for your diabetes, for your cholesterol, for your high blood pressure, whatever it is, we need to understand that the power of our mind is extremely, extremely important. And I'm going to explain this because this little thing can really change the way that the treatment works for us. You see, in integrative and lifestyle medicine, it's not, it's not the kind of medicine that is against doctors, is against chemotherapies. It's not alternative medicine that will tell you stop your drugs and take this instead. Integrative means you use the best of everything that is going to bring about healing or recovery for you. So if you need surgery, you do surgery, but you recover the right way. You need chemotherapy, you take, you take chemotherapy, you take radiation the right way. Also managing your side effects, boosting uh, immunity of your body, reducing inflammation, looking after constipation, acidity, so that the chemo can actually do its work the right way and that you can recover without side effects of the deadly drugs or treatment that you're going to go through. Now, most of us conventionally, when we go in for any treatment, chemo, radiation, surgery, medicines, we go into it with a lot of fear. What we need to understand is when you have decided to take the treatment, if you have decided to take the chemotherapy, okay, now there is no point there is no point in focusing on the negatives anymore. You've already made the decision to undergo surgery, take radiation, take the allopathic medicine, take chemo. Now what is in your hands is your mindset towards it. If you are taking the chemotherapy, yes, we all know there are side effects that will come along with it. For some people, there'll be nausea. Some people, there'll be hair fall. Some people, vomiting. Some people, diarrhea. Some people, constipation. But it doesn't mean all of that has to happen to you. You see, when you read all the side effects and your subconscious mind believes it's going to happen, that is exactly what is going to happen. So what is in your hands if you've decided to take chemotherapy today? You go into it with a very, very open and positive attitude. If you go into it knowing that chemo is going to destroy my healthy cells, that radiation is going to kill my healthy cells, that you know my hair is going to fall off, I'm going to get sicker, I may have more problems, that is exactly what is going to happen to you. What we need to understand is if I am taking chemotherapy, okay, my conscious mind knows these are the possible side effects. But my subconscious mind, okay, is going to be what you program it to be. So you can envision, you can visualize, you can immediately start programming your subconscious mind to believe that the chemotherapy is actually going to heal you. It's going to kill all your cancer cells. It's not going to affect your good cells. It's not going to affect your vital organs in the body. That the chemotherapy is going to be this magic drug that takes away your cancer. That is your job, to put that little seed in your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind knows everything that is going to be bad or toxic, the side effects of it. But your subconscious mind is up to you. It is up to you to fill what you want into your subconscious mind. The simple thing like a child. If we put the wrong ideas in the child's subconscious mind, that is exactly how their lives are going to be. But if we program their subconscious mind to believe that they can be you know, who they need to be, that the world is really not a bad place. All of these things that our conscious mind basically keeps us on the other part of life. Our subconscious mind holds the key to how our treatments are going to be. So if you get into a surgery thinking that, oh, after the surgery, my life's going to be a mess. I'm going to have this problem and that problem. That is exactly what is going to have happen. What we need to understand is right from the way you're thinking, that controls and dictates the behavior of your treatment. So if you're taking an allopathic drug without any faith that it's going to work, it is not going to work for you. If you take a painkiller, okay, knowing that the painkiller is going to take away your pain, it is going to work for you. We've all heard of a placebo where patients have been given sugar pills as painkillers and their pain has disappeared completely because they believed that the doctor gave them a real painkiller. We all know stories of placebos. What does that tell you? The power of your subconscious mind and your belief system. So for example, when it comes to chemo, radiation, surgery, all your allopathic drugs, if you have the same thoughts about the drug, you make the same choices, you have the same actions and behavior of the drug, you'll get the same experience of the drug and you'll get the same feelings and emotions out of it. What I'm trying to tell you is you need to change your thought process. 
If you have new thoughts about chemotherapy, like right now everyone thinks negatively about chemotherapy, because, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, because of everything that we know is listed, what the doctors tell us and all of that stuff. But you've made the decision to take it. So now you need to make a decision and own the responsibility of changing the outcome of your thoughts. So if you have new thoughts about chemotherapy, okay, you made the choice, you will have new actions, you will have new experiences of it and new feelings out of it. So you can change the way the drug is going to work for you in your body by changing the way you think about it. If you've already made the choice, there, there is no point thinking negatively about it. All you need to do is think positively about it and put new thoughts in your subconscious mind you, you dictate how the drug is gonna work for you. It may sound stupid, it may go against everything that the piece of paper or Google told you are the side effects or your doctor told you are the side effects, but you design the story that you want your subconscious mind to believe because anyway, you have decided to take the drug. It's like the simple example I give everyone. We have women who come in from villages who have been diagnosed with cancer. They don't even know what cancer is. They came and they come and they do their cycles of chemotherapy. They take the chemo, there's no nausea, there's no vomiting. They're laughing while taking it. Their energy levels are good. They finish it and they go out shopping. Okay, their mindsets, their subconscious mind had no clue about all the dangers and the side effects and all of these things. So please understand that the conscious mind today is troubled with an overload of information, an overload of knowledge, which brings an overload of fear, insecurity, and everything. We think that we need to experience exactly what the side effects of the medicine are. But we know so many people with the same chemotherapy, some of them lost hair, some of them didn't even lose their hair. Some of them had neuropathy, some of them didn't even go through neuropathy. What was the difference? The drug was same, the disease was same. The difference was the subconscious mind, your beliefs, your thoughts about it. So yes, there will be many unfortunate people who will have to go through chemo, radiation, surgery, allopathic drugs, whatever it is that you have decided to take, what you own is the power to change the outcome of it. So if you take all these treatments with a negative outcome, with a negative mindset, believing that I'm going to go through all those side effects, that is exactly what is gonna happen. But right now with your subconscious mind, while you're taking the chemotherapy, you can visualize. While you're taking the radiation, you can visualize that it is cleaning up your body. It is building your immune system. Only the conscious mind knows that it actually, it, it actually decreases the immune system. But you can make the subconscious mind believe that it is going to boost your immune system. Your subconscious mind has to believe that. You're preparing for surgery. You visualize a day or two before surgery the outcome of how you want it to be. That the doctors removed everything, repaired everything, the healing is gonna be perfect, inflammation is gonna come down, and in a few days that you're discharged and you're back in your normal life. Your subconscious mind needs to see that mental picture. For most people who have gotten out of wheelchairs when they were put in wheelchairs, saying that you'll never walk again, the one thing that they did was they visualized in their subconscious mind that they would walk again. They believed that they would walk again, no matter what medical science told them. They believed and they walked. This is the importance of your subconscious mind. This is the one free drug that every human being has to program their subconscious mind the way you want the outcome of your disease, your relationship, your finances, your career to be. You own that responsibility to program your subconscious mind the way you want it to be, not the way other people around you say it should be done, the way you want it to be. Conscious mind, uncon uh, subconscious mind. Conscious mind is filled with fear and everything else. Subconscious mind is only filled with the thoughts that you put into it. Imagination, so dream big, imagine big, visualize big with faith and belief. And believe me, the outcome of your entire treatment that you take will change. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. You may know people who are currently going through chemotherapy, radiation, preparing for a surgery, taking life-threatening drugs, or whatever it is. Teach them this method. You don't need to be a doctor. You don't need to be a nutritionist. You don't need to be a lifestyle coach. You don't need to be anyone to teach them this simple, simple science of using your subconscious mind to make something better for you. Like I always say, you can have a bowl of ice cream right now and believe the ice cream is gonna make you fat and raise your blood sugar levels, it will. Or you can look at the ice cream and know that this ice cream, my body has the ability to break it down and I will truly enjoy it. And it'll work that way for you because your subconscious mind believes it. Your subconscious mind dictates your behaviors. 
You wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth. Where did that action come from? You're driving a car. Sometimes you're not even aware of how you reached your destination. You were focused on so many different things. Subconscious mind, your autonomic nervous system basically puts you in auto drive. Use the power of your subconscious mind. You can make positive impacts in every sphere of your life. Have a great day, everyone.